tonight we shall be engaging in some global politics which of course has some implications on global economy and of course it affects us because we are part of the global communities yes we have on our local challenges our own local challenge but some of these global issues play a major role on our economy and security many times uh, over well as the world watches with bated breath we delve into the heart of one of the most pressing conflicts of our time today we're speaking with a key figure in a Hamas government, shedding light on their perspective amidst the Israel Hamas war. In the midst of relentless violence and political turmoil, our aim is not just to understand but to empathize with the complex narratives and aspirations that define this conflict. Our guest representing the Hamas government in Gaza offers a unique insight into the struggles, motivations, and aspirations of our people living under siege as we navigate through the intricacies of this conflict. Let us set aside preconceptions and engage in a dialogue that transcends borders and biases and religion. I'm being joined tonight by Dr. Ghazi Ahmad. He's a senior Hamas leader who serves as Minister of Social Development in Hamas government of Gaza. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Ahmad, you're for joining us tonight. You're welcome. Give us a brief understanding uh, of your own assessment of the situation as it is today. Look, first of all, I think the situation in Gaza is very catastrophic. It is very hard because we lost a lot of people. The, for small statics, we lost about 3,000 innocent people. About 13,000 children were killed. About 10,000 women were killed. We have also they destroyed hospitals, bakeries, schools, universities. They killed more than 127 journalists about 166 of the medical staff and about 112 of the United Nations staff in Gaza Strip. I think this gives you a kind of image for what the atrocities done in Gaza Strip by the Israeli occupation. And this is a population of about 2 million people, isn't it? Yes, in addition to this place, about uh, 1.5 million from the north to the south, they destroy more than 260,000 homes in Gaza. It's about 50 to 60,000 of homes of the people. So I think that this is the bigger crime of Israel in Gaza, that they are killing civilians, innocent people. They, they bring the towers on the heads of people while they are sleeping. About, I can say, about 7,000 families were deleted entirely from the civil court. The father, the mother, sons, children, everything. Are you getting help, humanitarian help, aid? United Nations and, and I think that Israel is fighting against three, three weapons. First of all, killing and mass destruction. Second point, by preventing of the medical care for the injured people. Second point, this is very, very dangerous, is the starvation. They prevent the reaching of the assistance to the people, especially in the north of Gaza, and they put more restrictions on the, in the uh, tracks of the assistance to reach Gaza. So I think there is big problems, big dilemma in the world. Because of this, I think that is, Israel was brought to the ICG in order to accuse them with a, a genocide against our people. It is, these people are inhuman. They are fighting against the Palestinian people, against our identity, against our existence. You know, I just wanted to learn something. The source of this point is occupation. We as a Palestinians, we lived under the occupation for 75 years. We were suffering from all kinds of oppression, and killing, assassination, taking our lands, building settlements. I think that some international organization like Amnesty accused Israel with the, to be apartheid, uh, United Nations, Red Cross, all these international accusations uh, accused Israel with committing crimes against our people. Mm. How do we can explain that they kill about 13,000 children? Mm. I mean, that, that those uh, who will want to find out why Hamas did what it did late last year, which was the uh, beginning of this escalation of violence. What was behind the minds of Hamas when the leaders and when they did the attack on Israel? Look, I want to deal with something because we as Palestinians, we are under the occupation. And you mean what is the means? What is the means of the occupation? Killing, assassination, that you lose everything. You lose identity, your passport, your, your freedom. Your independence, you lost everything. We couldn't, for example, I am in Gaza, I'm, I'm living in Gaza. You could not go without permission of Israel. Israel controlled the borders, controlled sea, controlled land, controlled air. You could not export and import. We live in very 
hard so for some years now you because been, of this you, you, there, there are restrictions from the egyptian border yes. uh, from from the inflow of food for some years now on the side of Israel too, that they go to the Israel checkpoints, mm -hmm. and they sometimes they put uh, some some restriction for their trucks and to prevent some people and to prevent or some trucks and to prevent or some trucks to go to the Gaza or north. You know that in Gaza, in the north of Gaza, we are suffering from starvation. Some people died because of the starvation, and I think there are some calls and appeals from United Nations, from some human humanitarian organization, ask Israel, even from the American, to allow for the trucks. You, 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 as a this. leader in Hamas government in Gaza, I'm asking, what was in the mind when uh, the, 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 the Hamas attacked Israel? What was yeah, the thinking? I want to tell you something. You know, and the abduction. The history did not start in the October 7th. You know, before that, if you go back to the history, all Palestinian faction, all Palestinian people fought against the occupation because we want to get rid of the occupation. We want to live in peace and security and stability. So since 1948, we were fighting against the occupation. But I tell you what is the accurate reason for October 7. You know before that, Israel committed many crimes, especially in Laksa Mosque. When they storm the Laksa Mosque day after day, they bring the radical Jews inside the Laksa Mosque, provocation for the Muslims, uh, abusing the Muslims, preventing them from the prayer inside the Laksa Mosque. Uh, and in West Bank, every day they are encouraging, killing people, building settlements, uh, assassination, creating more checkpoints everywhere. They turn West Bank to the isolated countries. The situation was terrible before the October 7. And I think we have some connection with some mediators like Egyptians and Qatari and United Nations. And we explain to them that you have to ask Israel to stop their violation against our people. But there is something that's very important. You know, we had two tracks, either the peaceful track or the violent track. You know that the Palestinian Authority they spent 30 years in peaceful negotiation with Israel, talks and agreement and everything, but they got big zero after 30 years of negotiation. Because we think that Israel is not ready, is not interested to give the Palestinian the uh, opportunity to establish their state. Why? Why they Israel build settlements inside the Palestinian territories? In Israel, despite the Security Council, United Nations say that 67 borders it belongs to the Palestinians. It is occupied territories. Why you bring Jews to live inside the Palestinian territories? Why you build settlements inside the Palestinian territories? Why you are killing Palestinians in the West Bank? This is the problem of the, of, the, of, the, of the situation. Just one. We as a Palestinians, we are the victims of the occupation. So it is our, our legal right to fight against them. Mm. So as the, people everywhere. So, everywhere. so the justification is because of the, the, the justification because of the, the attack. the continuous violation the, against our people. But, but does Hamas regret that attack, staging that attack on Israel? Why you regret to attack Israel? So there's no regret because on all, that attack all, of last all the, all the time they are killing us. They're destroying us. They're killing our, our children. They're taking our lands. I think we waited for 75 years that the world should take some steps in order to help the Palestinians. You know the why, why, why the world, for example, they impose sanction on Sudan, in Libya, in Iraq, in Syria, and everywhere? Why they don't impose sanction on Israel? Is it all the time they believe that we are above of law, above of the international law, we are supported by the United States, no one can count Israel, no one can stop Israel, we can kill the Palestinians, we can take their lands, we can prevent them from the praying in, in, in Laksa Mosque, they're doing all kinds of crimes against our people. No one stop them. Because of this, I think that the only option for us now to stop the arrogance of Israel and the atrocities of the Israel is to, to attack Do you still them. have um, some of those abducted in that attack with Hamas? Are they still in Gaza or where are they? Look, I want to tell you something. This operation in, in October 7, it is a military operation. It was directed to the military purposes. We never planned or have intention to direct this operation to the civilians because we as the Muslims, we believe that we should not harm the civilians. And you know, from the first day of the operation, the head of the Gassan Brigade, Muhammad Nif, declared to the fighters, avoid the children, avoid women, avoid the elders, avoid sick people, don't touch them. And you know, when these hostages were taken to Gaza from some people, we give him all kinds of dignity and shelter and protect. No one hurt them. But if you look to about 7,000 prisoners in the Israeli jails, every day they are under oppression, under targeting, under 
humiliation, under killing, under many people died in their side. No, Mr. No, Dr. Hoffman, uh, is there a defense to the accusation that Hamas is using civilians and children no. as shooting in this we war? We never use it. There is one proof. There is no one proof. One proof that, that Hamas used children. We use our children. These abducted no, persons no, from Israel no, no, in that attack, we, where no, are no, they? No, all the times there is... No, Mr. Dr. Dr. Hoffman, those, those against, that have been abducted in that uh, last year attack, where are they? And they see on Gaza as soil. They are on Gaza, yes. And are, we, are you hoping and, to release and, them and, to and, Israel? And we are, ready, we are ready to make kind of exchange and return him back to Israel. What will we be the terms to, of exchange? But we want to free our prisoners. We have about 7,000 prisoners. Some of them spent 40 years, 30 years, 25 years in the Israeli jail. Why? They spent this is long time inside Israel. We want to free our prisoners. So I think that we are ready now to have a, 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 a complete swap or exchange and i think now we have so if had... israel is ready to release your prisoners you are ready to release yes. those abducted yes um is that what you are dangling for peace sake no i think now we well, that's our goal now is to stop the war in gaza it is not war between hamas and israel it is a war in gaza strip okay if it is a kind of war you have to respect the regulation of the war that uh, militaries against militaries but when israel poured their retaliation on the civilians and killing civilians, you know, about more than 95% of the victims are civilians. Are civilians. I don't know why the world is keeping silent for such atrocities in Gaza. So you blame the United yeah. States? You blame yes. some power, I mean, yes, some, United, some world powers? Yes, United. You blame the United Nations as, as though they are uh, indulging Israel. Is that what you're saying? The United States support Israel with weapons and killing the Palestinians with American weapons. Yes. This is, this is a truth. This is a genocide yes, accusation. Yes, the genocide. Yes, all the time. We accuse the United States that they are partner of the crimes against our people. Because I think they open a bridge for Israel, for money, for weapons, for, for massive uh, uh, support for, for them. And I think they are keeping sign for the crimes of the Israel, in the Israeli territories. I, is Hamas seeking the extermination of Israel? Is that a target? Is that, is that a goal? Look, uh, um, I, I want to tell you something. If someone enter your home and, sorry, rape your wife, kill your children, destroy your homes, take all your money, what do you expect from yourself to do that? For 70 years, the Israeli occupation is committing crimes against our people, killing everything. And for example, my father killed by the Israelis, my uncle killed by the Israelis, I spent five years in the prison. My mother was shot by Israel. My home was destroyed completely. What do you expect from the Palestinians? So if you have the opportunity, we, you, will, you will take out Israel. Look, we, is want, that, is we, that... we want to end the occupation. We want to be free. We want to establish our state. Why is Israel all the time insisting now to occupy the, uh, the, the West Bank and Gaza and, and, and Jerusalem? Why? Why the world they don't put pressure on Israel to tell him, please go out of the Palestinian territories. Give him a chance to establish their state. Why they bring Jews from all over the world, from Russia, from America, from France, to live in Palestine because they are Jews? This is unjust. This is not fair. If, if there is one thing that, that, that will gladden the heart of Hamas and his government, what would that be? Is it to take out Israel totally out of existence? Look, I think that, as we said, we want, as Hamas, our goal is to free uh, Palestine, is to establish our state, it is our right. You know that we have 7 million Palestinians scattered all over the world. We, this is the right of return for the Palestinians. Palestine is belong to the Palestinians. And it is our right that Palestine live in, Palestinians live in Palestine. Why is it, as I said, that they bring the Jews from all over? Because they, they are Jews, bring them to the, live in Palestine? Okay, I, I want to do something. We, as, we as, as Muslims, we spent five centuries in Spain. But we don't say that Spain is belong to the Muslims now. Why now Israel say that Jews is open for anyone to come, despite that he French nationality and has American nationality and has a British nationality and has Russian nationality? Why are you bring them and put him in the Palestinian territory? Dr. Rahman, let me ask you, are you worried about the designation of Hamas as a terrorist organization? There is one to prove that Hamas used terrorism in any way. We just focus in the occupation. We never use military action against American, against Jews, against the Christians. We never, Hamas is a humanitarian uh, organization, liberation organization, 
We are not. I ISIS. said he's a look, question. Look, no, there no, is a question not, on the funding we are not, we are and not, the activities we of We are not mass. ISIS. We are not Qaeda. We are not uh, a terrorist organization. We are just fighting, fighting for the liberation of the Palestinian people. That's all. But you are a militant story. group. And in the same time, are you a militant group, Dr. Hafman? Me. The Hamas. Hamas, we have militant wings, that's right. We have Qassam Brigades, which are militant... Uh, mi but mili if, the part, if the world powers designate Hamas as a terrorist organization, how do you defend it? Look, who, who, who want to, to, to be accused as a terrorist is Israel? Israel is the, the face of terrorism. Israel is the source of evils. Israel is the, is the face of all kinds of atrocities in this region. Hamas, we never... Look, we never killed children or women or innocent people. It is not, it is not our ethics or our, our morals. I think Hamas proved all the time, for even the Western com uh, community, that Hamas is a civilized, is a moral uh, organization, taking care of the Palestinian people, looking for the imperial Palestine, and I think we are committed to the ethics and morals, and we never, mm -hmm. as I said again and again, never use any tourist uh, uh, action against anyone. What are you seeking from the Nigerian government on this year trip? Well, I hope that Nigeria as a big country have influence in Africa to support the Palestinian people because I think our cause is just is fair. And I think that we expect from the Nigerian government, Nigerian people to give more support in the political aspect, in the humanitarian aspect for our people. Because you know, if you look to the South Africa, South Africa take a brave step when they go to the ICG and they uh, have their, their, their defense for the Palestinian people. I expect that all, most of the African countries suffered from the uh, Western uh, colonial uh, occupation. I think they feel with, feel with the, 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 the suffering of the Palestinian people. So I expect that they give more support to the Palestinian people. Well, Ahmad, as you return home, uh, what new message do you have for the United States, Europe, the UK, and the world? They should, understand, they should, first of all, remove the glass of Israel from their eyes. They, they should, they, we want him now to be neutral, to be human, to respect the international law, uh, to look to the, to the suffering of the Palestinian people for 75 years. And they should not support Israel or keep silent for their crimes in the Palestinian territories. I think now United States will lose, and even UK, France, or uh, uh, United Kingdom, they will lose if they continue to support Israel. They will lose their credibility, their, their belief in, in the human rights, in the international law. So I, my message to them is to stop to support Israel in their aggression against our people. Dr. Ahmad, um, uh, Ghazi Ahmad, Minister of Social Development in the Hamas government of Gaza, very top uh, official in the Hamas leadership. Thank you so much indeed. You, and I wish the people of Palestine are well. And I hope that at some point the bullets and the shellings will stop Chum. for the sake of innocent people Thank who are dying much. every day. Thank, Thank you. you so much, uh, Dr. Luck. Ahmad, for joining Thank us you. tonight. Thank you. Thank Good you. Luck. Thank you.